Hello and welcome to MBWK. So today is going to be a very, very quick one. I just want to put a video out to help uh, somebody and if it helps others, then brilliant. Uh, basically, if you don't get on with the Xtalk creative space and you prefer to design in a different program like Lightburn, I'm just going to go through how to design something quickly in Lightburn or open a file in Lightburn and export it as an SVG so you can open it in Xtool Creative Space. So if we just draw out a quick uh, bookmark just for argument's sake so we can go through the process of doing that quickly. I'm just going to take the corners off like I did in my last video. I'm going to drag out a circle and center that. Bring that down. Offset this shape, 6 mil, perfect. And then you can create a pattern inside that. So if you like designing in Lightburn and you want to transfer this file across to the creative space because Lightburn won't work with your Xtool machine, for instance, um, I'm just going to open a file quick. Rectangular, open, nope. So say you've designed all these bookmarks and you want to get this across to the Xtool creative space. If you were to go to file and save as, it will save it as a LBRN2 file. So that's the file format that it'll save it as. If instead you go to file and export and click on that, we can export this as an SVG. So if I just export it to the desktop, and just type in xtool test. Here you can see that save file type is set to Illustrator files, uh, so that's an AI file. If you click click on it, you'll get a drop down menu, and you can see here SVG file uh, format is available. And just go to save. And if we minimize out of this. Xtool test, because I missed the T off of it, is now here on my desktop. So if we go across to Xtool Creative Space, then click on New Project. If we go across to the top left hand corner here, we can see Image. If we were to try and open the LBRN2 file format, you'll see that this isn't a compatible file with um, Xtool Creative Space. But what we can do is go to the desktop and find our tool test. If we double click on that, it's going to come up with this because it's a uh, it's too big for the size of our workspace. Just click on no display it as the original size. And as you can see here, it's brought the files into creative space. Now to move these, just highlighted them all. You can't actually select this individually. It's actually come across as one complete uh, SVG file. So what we need to do is just select this and come across to the ungroup selection on the right hand window. And then we are able to select individual components. If we drag over it, we'll be able to bring that into our workspace. So just for complete transparency, I don't actually own an Xtool machine uh, myself. So if you do own a Xtool machine and this does work for you, please let me know in the comment section. And then that way I can just confirm whether or not this works properly or not. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll just delete this video and uh, we'll try again. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope it's helped. If you're interested in any of these bookmark designs, uh, I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. So again, thank you very much and I shall see you soon.